Welcome on back to Dragon Quest Builders 2 Weekly. You know how it is. So, uh, I'm gonna start off by saying I heard your comments loud and clear. Uh, yeah, I should not have smashed up the walls like I did. Uh, I panicked. I don't really have an excuse. I should have waited till they were done and then adapted around it, but, um, live and learn. I did rebuild in between. <laughs> hey, that's kind of funny. You know what? I like it. Come on. There you go. There's the button. Let's get one more snapshot. Oh, that looks nice too. Okay, let's jump in. So, as you can see, all patched up and the tower looms overhead there. I do that first person view again. There we go. That's more like it. So over here, I have a little staircase up to the throne room. Found a good spot for the portrait of the princess. And I didn't feel like filling this in, so I just put some armor back there, kind of decorative. The throne room is more or less the same, minus one brazier. Over there, the kitchen is shifted. I'll show as soon as I get up there. See, it kind of sticks out a little further now. Here's the dormitory back here, totally unchanged. The kitchen is more or less the same as it was before. Just uh, kind of rearranged and shifted to make room for the tower. Uh, yeah, so that's what I've got. Let's tuck this stuff away. And then I think I need to go speak with the king. Been a little while since I gathered my iron. I think I'm gonna leave the iron for now. I'm not gonna start anymore. Pretty sure I have plenty. <clears throat> plenty. You know what? I've been meaning to do this for a while. Let's get rid of these two columns. It's been looking a little crowded in here. I think that looks much nicer for an entryway. I still need to do some decorative stuff uh, over on the sides and to finish up the, the bottom row make it more uniform, but good enough for now. Ah, yes, he's going to send us after the Orb of Heroes. Hmm. Renderak. Okay. 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 Yeah, that that concerns me. I wonder if I should fill in that space above the throne room door. I think it's okay for now since it's on the inside. I do also feel a little nervous about taking the entire army. We should leave some defense here at the castle. But then again, if the entire army's gone, why would Hargon's forces care about the castle? Don't they want to kill the people? Just a thought. Also, it's kind of bothering me that there's a gap right here. I think maybe that used to be fire traps, but for now it's going to be spikes. Okay, so we're going to need to use this banner eventually. Whoa! Whoa, hello! Whoa. 
You may have noticed I switched swords. I'm not using the higher sword anymore. That is a sheer coincidence that happened to an accidental button mash. I treated my fire sword to a mess up. But it's fine. I'm still going to be a mash like this. of course. Alright, well, let's do it real quick. Beautiful. Okay, so anyway, I have the banner. I'm assuming the entire army will follow once I reach Renderak and equip the banner and wave it. I feel like I want to harvest more of these logs. It's such a temptation every time. But I don't need to. I don't need to. I'll just make as straight of a beeline as I can. And get to this place quickly. Wibble wibble. Hello, Goomans. We are gooing into that cave. Oh, it's fine. Silly. Ooh, cotton. I do have plenty of cotton these days, thankfully. Yes. Oh, it's fine. It'll be fine. Okay. I'll do that when we see some monsters that, you know, are worth fighting more seriously than run-of-the-mill gobbledygooks. Here, why don't I put my cursor on there, just so you all are happy. Not you, the audience, I mean them. Them Alright, I guess it's good. the entire army with me? Because I feel like this is kind of a lot for just three of us. Yeah. Uh you know what? We're gonna we're gonna go. Right after I hopefully take down this liquid metal sign. got actually knocked down. Let's go get him. Interesting. I don't know what I'm supposed to do to get all of the NPCs. 
come with me, but I'll go mess around and find out. Here, have a snow nap. I'll even clear some space for you. He's almost back. Alright, now we can warp back. seem to be reacting. <laughs> he came out with a baked potato to see the raw potatoes. That's amusing. Maybe if I come out here... How do I get these guys to follow me? We're all just gonna go back here. Bro. What do I do? can't possibly be telling me to fight those three, like, mini-boss level monsters with Jerome, Anessa, and Warwick. By the way, what all of my ding-dongs put in here? Why is there a potato? Why is all of this in here? Oh, my delightful ding-dong NPCs. Your dumbness knows no bounds. <sighs> okay. You grant them leave to go to Rendrak. That's good. Can y'all actually come with me now, please? No? What? Nessa. What do you think? Yeah, I make you later under act, sure. How about you, Jerome? Okay. I've got it. It's right here. Oh my gosh. I guess maybe we have to just go to render act the three of us and try to win. What you, Warwick? What do you say? What troops they won't follow? There. Alright. I hate to do this, but we're gonna make a little cut in the video here, and I'm gonna look this up because I am absolutely baffled. I'll be right back with you, friends. And we're back. I forgot one of the functions of the war banner. Now I know what to do. simple. I just didn't recall. That's all. What is this? Oh, this is a puzzle I already did. I feel so late. I 
Anyway, it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't make a complete dingus of myself at least once, right? It's part of the entertainment value. Okay, so here's what we do. We come up in here. We get to the point right before we spawn the monsters. Hmm. I thought they were supposed to just appear. them all where they can see the banner and then hoof it to Renderac. Not gonna lie, this this kind of sucks. I don't like this. Okay, they are coming, they're just slow. following. Dragon Quest Caterpillar Party style. Alright, take them all down. There we go. Well, let's run. I think I, uh, don't have as much stamina as I thought I did. Again, used to Tears of the Kingdom where I've got three full stamina wheels. Alright, everyone still following? No, well, enough of them are anyway. Okay. Sweet. Just like when I make blueprints. Let's go, one dragon down. Two dragons down. Took that hunter mech out. Aw oh, yeah. Fierce. Yes. It wasn't bad. Well, yeah, but I'd like Malroth here with us. Someone trying to summon him again? Man, I wish I could skip these dialogue. I think I cannot click through this any faster. Push it. 
all the buttons on my controller. Come on, come on, come on. Zoom, zoom, let's go. Yes, there can. The destroyer destroys and I rebuild. I have to destroy blocks to get building materials. And then I create. Why can't Malroth destroy things to get me building materials? And then I can create. It was perfect harmony there. And then Malroth can enjoy the fruits of the labor, you know? He works, then I work, then we both relax in the creation we make. Dear whoever programmed this game, you suck. Why are these dialog boxes stuck on my screen for a minute each? Not acceptable. I can read those in like two seconds. Even somebody who's slow at reading should be able to read it in half the time that they're on the screen. Can Malroth destroy this dialogue box for me? Oh. I see water. I feel like there might be something hidden here. This water is nothing interesting. Curiosity satisfied. Let's continue on. I could go that way. Or I could go this way. Oh. This just uh, doubles back. Got it. This is the way. Shouldn't I be, like, descending? Also, is this... This is a cave that I found before, and I was like, Oh, it's empty in here. Like, this is... This is really familiar right now. Look at all that beautiful, harvestable marble. I won't do it. I promised y'all I won't do it. I didn't promise, but I gave my word. So, same thing. Hmm. Jerome, there's a door right there in front of you. We can go out. We can look for another passage. Don't say it's a dead end yet. I can go right. I can go left. Come on. Right. It would be made entirely of ice, except I already broke it a while back. That's what he's talking about. Well, I feel sheepish. But hey. Why not nibble up a little more ice while we're here?
One more swing. Okay, I'm sat ice fied. Do ho ho. Can I go slide down that rainbow? You know, this this really hits different, having already been here. Like, oopsie poopsie. Okay, this was the passageway down and in. I want to go try and slide down that rainbow. What? The rainbow's gone. Aw. I wanted to slide down it and gather it. But the game says no. There's a puzzle over there. I already did that one. Bit of a dry throat tonight as I record. I just had a glass of apple juice, so I should not have a dry throat. Hopefully, it's just allergies. Our uh, blackberries are in bloom, so not only am I looking forward to delicious blackberries here in a few weeks, but uh, my sinuses are furious because there's a bunch of flowers all over my yard. <laughs> Go figure. Yes, we're, we're the same ones who were here a couple episodes ago. I saw neither of those things last time I was here. designed this scenario? Why are you showing me a wall? Have the camera go up so I can see over the wall. Please, I beg you. Ay, 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 ay. Alright. Even then, you'd not be able to see the castle if the camera went up. Who designed this? Ugh. What QA passed this? Oh, I'm a QA by trade, by the way. I might have mentioned that before. My day job is software testing. So anytime something comes up that's like, I would have brought it up in QA if I had tested it, I'm like more deeply offended than your average person might be. It's mostly fake offense, though. I'm not, like, actually mad. But I do like to play it up a bit. For the lulls. Is that still a thing? Are we still saying for the lulls? Or is my internet culture just that outdated? Hello again. I haven't seen you for a while, Jagadies.
did we need to drop out of the air just so you could say that, Jerome? Really? Was this necessary? I'm in a mood tonight. <laughs> Look at poor Warwick. He's just stuck there. What if I just leave him there forever? What if I just walk away from my PS5 with this on and never touch it again? And just let Warwick be permanently stuck hang gliding into a cliff, rubbing his face like a darn cat. And Jerome's all the way back there and he said it. Oh, I do not like you, Jerome. Kind of hope Jerome's the traitor. That's pretty awful of me to say, but... <clears throat> and Warwick's the only one who took damage from that. Poor guy. No, listen, real talk. I think Warwick and or the King are the traitors. That's my final theory, and I'm gonna stick with it until the big reveal. Whenever that is. I, again, I don't know. Thank you all, by the way, for helping to keep me spoiler free. You can see all of Maidenhall Castle. Hmm. Not from this camera angle, I can't. Middenhall? Maidenhall? I don't know how it's pronounced, actually. Yeah. The truth is never as lovely as you think. Little life lesson for you there. Or, when you think the truth is lovely, the truth is not as lovely as you think. Things are pretty much as bad as you think they are, or worse. And that's what makes nice things and good things pure and beautiful things so important in life because there ain't many of them scarf down a couple of those just for my hunger bar real quick anyway a little dadly life advice for you there just uh, appreciate truth purity and beauty when you come across it because it's, it's pretty rare And you should be that way. You should help de-rarify good. At least I think so. Uh, yeah, again, I, I don't think that I want to spend the night in a place like this. I just wanted to see if he had any different dialogue. Now that we've actually reached here through story flags. What about the item shop? Real or not, the dog is normal. Ain't no prince. But I am gonna steal a bunch of your stairs. Woo. Stairs. stairs? No. But I don't think they're gonna just evaporate out of my bag either, so why wouldn't I take the opportunity to nab some free stairs before it all disappears? What's over here? Did I come over here earlier when I was exploring? Yeah, I almost certainly did. Okay, let's go back to where I was and get more stairs. I mean, continue exploring. I mean, both. Also, I think I have infinite stone, so I probably really don't need to be pilfering these stairs. Let's move on. Okay, these are all saying the same thing as the last time I was here. 
You notice that too, huh, Jerome? You're so sharp. We'll take that door, though. That's nice. Heck yeah. Throne room door? What's this? Is this like a fancy... Oh, no, I have those already. Oops. Some more of this castle windowing, maybe? Again, if this is all just gonna go away, like, why shouldn't I take some of the nicer pieces? Is that horrible of me? Or is it just, uh, being a smart player? I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. Are the top pieces different? I must know that. Uh, survey says no. They're all just link pieces. That's fair enough, I suppose. Oh. Are there any real tiles here? I doubt it. What about steps? Ooh. Okay. This I'm taking. Uh, cancel that. Let's go down here so I can get those others as well. That lets me just take all of it. Sweet. Okay, a lot of it is crumbly rock. But like... Dude, there's some really good pieces here. Hey, do you mind if I do? Who put this cute little passage down here? That's adorable. So this can I take before the king gets ticked off at me? All of it? I can just take all of it. Oh my goodness, okay. Free freaking rad blocks, uh, thanks. Oh no. There's a couple pieces up there. Okay, now for this scene to look absolutely absurd because all the cool stuff is missing. Here I was hoping he would turn into a mimic or something. I at least wanted to fight a bunch of monsters. Dude, everybody dies. It's fine. It's part of life. See, there, Anessa has my flame sword. Okay, that makes it easy. We'll just defeat y'all. Mm. 
It's Warwick, isn't it? He's the only one not in a battle stance. Yep. <laughs> Kinda saw this one coming. Not really, but like, I had my suspicions for a little while, and I locked in my theory earlier in this episode. You heard it, and uh, yeah, guess so. <laughs> but was the king himself also in cahoots? <laughs> that question remains to be answered. Anessa doesn't build either. I guess I should feel bad for Anessa, right? Now, if anyone says, or is thinking, hey, wait a minute, uh, Warwick's image showed his real self in the Mirror of Ra. You're right. Warwick really was Warwick. He was a human. He believed differently than us, but he was a human. So the Mirror of Ra would not expose monster, with air quotes, when there's no monster to expose. Huh. I thought I saw a layer of those golden castle blocks, but I guess not. I guess those are all just inside? Like... Before this all goes away, if that's going to happen, then I want some more of these golden castle blocks. You know? To the victor go the spoils, right? Alright, 
that's taking too long. It will be very funny if the game actually removes these blocks from my inventory later. I won't even be mad. I'd be very amused, actually, if that happens. It's sort of a que uh, blah, blah, excuse me, a trope in Dragon Quest games. Sometimes you come across an illusory place. Um, Dragon Quest XI, for example. Uh, the first casino that you come across, you will just basically win, and it seems like you want to keep playing there because you're winning. You just win, win, win. Uh, however, it is an illusion, and all, everything you win will be taken from you at the end. And that's especially frustrating if you're doing a run for achievements, because some achievements tying to winning in the casino and you're like oh this is my chance mm, nope the achievements don't work there believe me i know i put in the time i found out the hard way i being the silly fool that i am even read about it beforehand and i knew that people had you know guides out there basically saying don't do the psn achievements here they don't work in the monster casino and I was like oh I'm gonna try it anyway well I messed around and I found out <laughs> you're absolutely right the monster casino gives you diddly squat in Dragon Quest 11 even in the way of PSN achievements I think there was one that was like win X number of times at slots or something like that there was some something that wasn't even tied to the coins that you win So it's like, oh, you know, well, maybe the win this many times in a row one will work. Nope. Nope. It, it's all just... Don't do it. Alright. Well, I know it's not interesting to watch me keep harvesting blocks, so... As much as I'd really like to nab some more of this golden castle wall stuff. Oh, but look at those over there. What is this now? What are these? Golden Castle Capital? Oh. Yep. Humor me for just a moment while I gather a few of these. Yep. Again, these might go away. If the game decides that I don't get to keep any of the blocks that I harvest from here. But, again, also, I think that would be pretty darn funny. crazy. There. Okay, that's enough block gathering. Except there's stone over here that I didn't pick up. Leave it. Leave it. Me. Just leave it alone. Really? I'm still not close enough to talk to him. I have to stand on his balls. His iron weapon balls.
That's the Orb of Heroes, isn't it? Yep, saw that one coming. Well, you know what that means. Uh, why can I warp here? I was thinking I'd be clever and warp back. Fine, let's be silly and warp to the dock. On this channel, if something is worth doing, it's worth doing in the most ridiculous backwards method you can possibly think of. Oh, look, a block that I missed. Gadzooks! A wall of marble! Oh, this is very silly. I can't see anything through this wall. Hey, my iron's almost done up there. Oh, now we're at the front gate. Boy, this game sure makes some assumptions sometimes. All right, well. Y'all got a uh, army of dragons, but I got a flag. <sighs> a flag. How silly. I didn't save you all. I killed Warwick. He's dead. There's not even a body to bury. build that chunk? Jeremiah? Jeremiah, how do you know? You weren't with us, my friend. You were here at the castle. How did he know that? I don't like this. Yeah, your majesty, I'm afraid so. Uh -huh. 
wow. That's some, uh... That might be the saltiest language we've seen in this game. And it's some of the mildest salty language out there, but... You know. follow you later? I, I have an episode to finish. No, I have to do it now. Okay. Right, let's go slap that orb in the cannon. What a sentence. Let's go slap that orb in the cannon. What's up, Vanessa? forgiven. Uh, maybe a couple. Hey! Yep. Interesting. By Jove. Hopefully not. One thing I'm concerned about though, it's not aimable. We're going to have to draw Atlas into the line of fire. And if he's as tall as I think he is, then as smart as I should be giving him credit for, then he's going to see the cannon and not get in its line of fire.
Okay, cool. Do it. Go. Can we get this show on the road? Oh, good. Vanessa's gonna build. I figured, since a couple episodes ago I showed how her presence on the Isle of Awakening is spoiled in the end credits. Oh, goodbye, your majesty. You just jump off the edge. What an idiot. You can't see how I'm smiling right now. Birds of a feather, right? The king just jumped off the edge. What an idiot. And then I proceed to jump off the edge. Now, before they finish that tower, they're just yeeting themselves right off the edge of it, aren't they? Here, I'm going to gather everyone up. Did I have a good reason for doing that? No. No, I don't. They don't have a good way to get there, do they? I'm going to build a bridge here between episodes. And with that, uh, while these little lemmings jump to their not-quite-deaths, that's going to do it for this episode, friends. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like. It helps the video get seen and the channel to keep growing. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing. I upload episodes of Dragon Quest Builders 2 every Saturday, and during the week I do episodes of We Love Katamari Reroll and Legend of Dragoon. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, go ahead and subscribe and ring that bell for notifications of when I upload a new video. Other than that, once again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye.